Recently, I was consulting with a large firm pursuing business with a major government agency seeking to migrate to the cloud. There was a lot of stress and anxiety in the room. People were struggling to understand the RFP. I'm telling you, SCA wants to migrate all their apps to the cloud fast. Absolutely not true. I just spoke to Drew. He's not even sure the older apps can be migrated. It doesn't matter. We can do a lift and shift. We can't do a lift and shift with these limitations. Okay, let's step back a little bit. Before we start offering solutions, what problem are we trying to solve? What are their officers struggling to do? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. But what are the specific limitations of their software? Is it speed? Ease of use? Accuracy? It doesn't say. I look. These are the types of questions we have to be able to answer. What type of user experience do they need? What type of functionality do they need to do their job? To keep pace with the markets. You gotta be kidding me. A year of capture work. We still don't know exactly what we're bidding on. I see this all the time. Confusion, frustration. Do you really think that SEA will get the solution they need? There has to be a better way. Traditional RFPs limited to words alone just aren't up to the task of acquiring modern capability. In this video, we'll look at how video RFP supplements can be used as an acquisition tool to crystallize mission need and boost acquisition outcomes. As a supplement to the RFP, video gives the government buyer opportunity to communicate visually and verbally in a common documented fashion to fairly and effectively show bidders the problem to be solved, the operative constraints, context, and objectives. We'll cover three key points. One, the communication gap, the limitations of written text-only RFPs and the ensuing problems they cause. Two, solving the problem, how video RFP supplements bridge the communication gap by crystallizing mission need. Three, the acquisition benefits of video RFP supplements. Let's take a deeper look at the statement of work the team was wrestling with. This is a real example taken from a federal agency. Only the names and a few words have been changed for brevity. The Security Exchange Agency, SEA, Office of Information Technology, is investing in a robust cloud platform in the development of stable, secure management applications for specific business needs. Okay, but what are those business needs? What are their enforcement officers trying to do? I'm not sure yet. Let's try another sentence. Contractors shall design, develop, integrate, deploy, maintain, and enhance software applications. Very standard IT language, but we're a few paragraphs in and we still don't have a clear idea as to what the mission is and what specific challenges are preventing mission performance. Is data visualization an issue? Speed of processing? Ease of use? I can see why the team was struggling. All right, let's try one more for agile development practices. Maybe we'll get a better idea here. Contractors shall use continuous integration and builds, functional and integration test execution with incremental, automated. Sure, this is agile terminology, but I'm still a bit confused. What are the legacy systems that they have? What kind of apps do they want? Agile Manifesto says the highest priority is to satisfy the customer, but I don't know exactly what SEA wants here. This is generic language that could apply to any IT project in any industry. Unfortunately, this statement of work presents a very unclear picture of what the customer needs. It's not surprising. Traditional written RFPs limited to words, punctuation, and tables cannot quickly synthesize and convert hundreds of mission management and technical variables into clear, unambiguous customer need. Even the best writers struggle to do so. And this causes poor acquisition outcomes, such as cycles of contractor questions, agency responses, and contractor misinterpretations that delay awards and waste time and money. No bids, the wrong bids, and scattershot proposals that miss the mark on capability and price. Increased risk of protests, citing vagueness and ambiguity, and poor performance as the wrong contractor may be selected. Let's take a look at a better way. The video RFP supplement, a short video that accompanies the written sow. Our mission at the SEA is to protect investors and maintain fair and efficient markets. 
this is not an easy task. I mean, we monitor over 3 million transactions daily and things can change like that as the markets fluctuate. We work with mountains of data and our job is to make sense out of it, to develop insight and actionable intelligence. Security, speed, and accuracy are the name of the game. But our existing computer systems are not up to the mission. It takes me over two hours to input information manually from paper to an Excel spreadsheet to complete one regulatory report. I have to open multiple dated systems to access securities codes and file reports. I can't keep up. And these manual steps increase the chances of making mistakes, and that just can't be. I mean, the stakes are way too high. What I need? Think about shopping on Amazon. I mean, I can find everything I need on one platform. I'm, for example, I'm currently shopping for video cameras. I can click on multiple icons, see customer reviews, watch videos. I mean, I can even track my shipping details. I kind of need the same thing, but for accounting, tax, and legal tools. I should be able to point and click and securely access accounting, tax, and legal tools on one screen, not seven. I need a one-stop shop that enables me to access multiple security codes, track reports, and monitor the market's most aggressive players. We need business apps that provide the right information in real time to the SEA operator. Currently, we have 48 legacy software systems. Seven are mission critical. The big seven cannot go down, and the data cannot be lost. They're slow, fragile, and need to be converted to modern apps that can be migrated onto the cloud. An agile approach shall be used. You shall conduct discovery, frame solutions, iterate with users, and deliver a minimal viable product. MVPs shall include essential features only. Get the app in the SEA user's hands, get their feedback, and get to coding. An Agile approach will ensure that we provide exactly what SEA users need. Sounds simple, right? Unfortunately, 79% of all Agile projects fail in the government space. They fail for three reasons. One, a disconnect between mission needs and software development teams. Two, Agile projects resort back to waterfall methods. They become Agile in name only. And three, waterfall metrics are used to measure progress instead of Agile metrics such as cadence, velocity, continuous feedback, and scale. At the root of these challenges is a cultural resistance to embrace the speed and iterative customer-focused nature of Agile. To overcome these barriers, we need you to develop a comprehensive plan. Your plan shall reflect a new mindset to always be shipping code. Shipping versus a waterfall mentality of years spent developing features that won't be used. This is a cultural change for SEA. We may never be Netflix or Google shipping hundreds of times per day, but your plan must show how your team can guide ours to break down the bureaucratic inertia to meet mission needs, to apply Silicon Valley type thinking in our world of NIST and FISMA compliance to deliver rapid value. Adds value, doesn't it? Like Paul Harvey used to say, video tells the rest of the story. There's just no way that paper and text alone can communicate deeply rooted, nuanced problems so effectively. Video captures the human experience, the frustrations, and the full context of what is needed better than any other medium. And videos are absorbed at light speed as the brain processes visuals 60,000 times faster than text, simultaneously adding audio, graphics, body language, and intonation boosts understanding even further. But here's the thing. Video RFP supplements only work if the message is right. Cluttered scripts and generalities won't work. This is why we work with your operators, managers, and engineers from the beginning. We conduct interviews and facilitate sessions that drive clarity. We use frameworks developed by CIA presidential briefers to translate thousands of hours of engineering analysis into concise communications. We also use expert visual storytellers with Hollywood experience to prioritize and illustrate all aspects of complex procurements. This is a value generating process that presses to get to the heart of the matter early in the acquisition cycle, increasing program official and contract officer speed, efficiency, and productivity. Video is great, but without the expertise to harness its power, you'll miss out on the acquisition benefits. And there are a lot of benefits Targeted proposals from the right proposers, faster time to award, less protests, and better contractor performance. Better mission performance. 
High quality video RFP supplements can be applied across the spectrum to improve industry day communications, statements of work, sections L and M. There are limitless applications. A video RFI supplement could be used to rapidly illustrate the problem, weed out the non-players, and hone in on the right companies. Using video RFP supplements ensures that you get exactly what you need to complete the mission. If a picture is worth a thousand words, a short video RFP supplement may be worth millions.